I've been thinking, the way we use AI in applications is changing, isn't it? Yes, it is. If you are a doer, now is your time to shine. There is no need to spend months collecting data or training models. Just start building your application. Let me show you how. Thanks for joining me on the show, Jerome. Uh, what do you do here at Google? I am a field solution architect focusing on generative AI. I help customers supercharge their applications by using AI. Before joining Google, I spent almost 20 years as an exploration geologist working worldwide in the field, but also a lot with computers. Ah, and customers are asking a lot of questions about how to write applications that use AI, right? Yes, they do. But instead of talking in general terms, I like to show them a sample application I built. Excellent. What does your application do? The application helps designers and marketers with ideas for new product with the help of AI. Let's say we want to create a new campaign for beach bags. I will enter, is there a resistant but fashionable fabric I can use for a bag? The AI tells me that denim and some other materials may be good choices. That sounds good. Next, I will create a moon board to brainstorm different designs. I can enter some keywords, vibes, and audience. I will enter rug but fashionable denim bag that you can bring to the beach. And the keywords stylish, resistance, beach. I will set the target audience to parents with young kids. Then I will click here to generate four images for inspiration. All right, that looks like a nice gaming bag that I might bring to the beach. Next, I will go to the Ideation Assistant tab. It has been instructed to ask me questions to help me refine the product ID. I will enter, I am interested in collection of bags that families with young kids can bring to the beach. It will ask a follow-up questions. Then I will enter my answer and it will ask a follow-up question again. This kind of back and forth is useful to refine the product ID. When I feel that we have arrived to a good place, I will ask, please generate a detailed visual description of the bag we have discussed that I can give to my design team. I can paste this description into the image assistant and get some ideas of what this beach bag might look like. This is using Imagine, Google's text-to-image model capable of generating photorealistic images with rich lighting. Those beach bags look pretty good. I would use one of them when I bring the kids to the beach. All right. Uh, Jerome, what tools did you use to build this sample application? I used Python, the Streamlight user interface library, the Vertex API, and the Imaging API. The code is really short, 600-700 lines of code, including the UI. It is short because the difficult work is done by Google on the server in the AI. I see. And how much do all these API calls to the AI cost? Each call costs a few cents. Got it. And what do these API calls look like in your code? The calls to the AI are here in the generative.pi file. Here, my code initializes the models. Here, it calls the models and gets a response. The code tells the models to use grounding that connects the model output to verifiable sources of information to improve the results. I like that. And can viewers play with this application and use it as a jump off point for their own AI applications? Yes, my code is open source. Please add the link to the repo in the video description. Excellent. I will do that. So Jerome, you've written a fair amount of code in previous jobs and here at Google. How do you see applications changing now that AI is everywhere? Anyone can create an app like this, thanks to Google AI. Developers can be more like architects of the solution rather than programmers of the solutions.
a big team is not really needed anymore, like in the past. Yeah, I think back to when I worked in startups, one developer can do today what our whole team did back then. Uh, there's never been a better time to be a developer. Thank you for showing us your application, Jerome. Thanks for having me, Martin. And thank you for watching. If you have any questions for Jerome or me, please add a comment below. Also, please let me know what you thought of this episode. I read every single comment. I can't wait to see what you build. <laughs> <laughs>